Statistic here. Only 31% of Americans say they have confidence in the U.S. government, according to a brand new Gallup poll. That is the lowest number of all G7 countries and down from 56% back in 2006. So should Americans feel good about the country's direction on Independence Day? Here to weigh in is Virginia Congresswoman Jennifer Kiggins, I.O. Congressman Zach Nunn, and Georgia Congressman and Dr. Rich McCormick. All of them are GOP freshman lawmakers who served in the military. How cool is this panel? Guys, good morning to you. Happy 4th of July. It's great to see you. Uh, Congressman Nunn, I will start with you. What do you think about those statistics? Nearly 70% of Americans don't trust our government. So should we feel good about the direction our country is going in? Well, hey, Carly, I think you lay in here with some incredible guests on with Jen and Rick. This is really what our founding fathers wanted. They wanted not just independence from King George, but they wanted a federal government that was accountable to the people. I love the idea of individual ruggedism and the idea that we all have a responsibility to stand up for our, ourselves, for our communities, for our families. Hence why you've got a panelist of military members on there, people who really put themselves on the front line. When I talk to people in parades today, it's the fact that they get to be with their families, they get to fight for one of the greatest countries on the planet, and it also means being part of a community that actually stands up for it. I hate the idea that the political progressives have tried to turn this into a, what's wrong with America, when so many Americans feel what's great about America is their local community. And the federal government would be well earned if they started listening more to what everyday Americans are advocating for on Independence Day weekend like this. Well, on that note, Congresswoman Kiggins, the number of Americans who express extreme pride in the country is near all time lows at 39 percent. You, on the other hand, have given back to this country your entire life, clearly are very proud of it. So what are the people who feel differently missing? Yeah, we've come a long way in 247 years, so it's an honor to be here with my colleagues celebrating America's birthday today. But so many of us are veterans who are serving now, including my, my two colleagues with you today. And there's 80 of us total in the U.S. House right now, and five of us are women. And we know how to put our country first. We all speak that same language. We know how to get the mission done. And just we know what's great about America and that America is the greatest country in the world and is worth protecting every day. So I think you've seen a lot of movement in the right direction. We know that, you know, we, we flipped the House majority last November and, and I serve with some, some great Republican colleagues who are leading America in a different direction. We're leading by example. It's something we learned to do in the military. It's something that we continue to do. And we will continue to put our country first because it's worth fighting for every single day for our families and for our futures. You know, Congressman McCormick, no doubt America is a great country, but there are also significant concerns on the left. You have people who say right now that the Supreme Court is getting too powerful. On the right, you have those who are saying that the uh, Department of Justice is just an arm of the Democratic Party. Uh, so it just feels like a big old mess. How do you address those concerns and make sense of it all? Uh, one thing that does concern me the most is that the Supreme Court minority, when they state their opinion, they don't cite the Constitution. When you get away from the Constitution that made this country so great, uh, when you see the things that we've thrived in, when you've seen the empowerment of the people, when you start to shy away from that, when you empower a government institution more than the people itself, then we have problems. When you see executive overreach by, by uh, either by orders or by Supreme Court nominees that, that don't have anything to do with the Constitution, or when you emasculate the legislative branch by not allowing them to actually declare war or to actually control the purse strings, then we have problems. Bureaucracies need to be reined in, but if we do that, and we empower the people, we become the America that we always yeah. wanted to have. That's such a great message, and you're absolutely right. One of the most incredible things about this country dates back to the founding fathers, uh, setting up this country to limit government's power and give that power back to the people, which is why you are all elected officials by the people in your own uh, areas of the country. And like we said, you've all served this country so well your entire life. So we have to thank you so much for that. Con